When you start designing a website, you want it to look great, but at the same time, you want to ensure a good user experience. There's no recipe for success, but having a clear picture of the web design basics will tremendously help you to succeed in this industry. Here are some of these web design basics that will help you design better websites. Know the website's goal. The first step is to know why you're designing a website. Whether the site is for entertainment purposes or transaction-based, you need to approach the design as a problem solver rather than an artist displaying their creativity. Web design is more than aesthetics. It has to serve its goal and direct users to the solution they're seeking. Organize your content efficiently. A good content organization is another piece of website design basics and the key to an efficient communication with the visitor. The most important information should catch the user's eye first by making it most visible among other pieces of content. Keep the text in smaller segments rather than having long, unappealing paragraphs. Define headings and subheadings logically. Clearly label your content so that you don't confuse the readers. Always stick to the point. Prioritize easy navigation. Users should be able to smoothly navigate through your website and know their way around. Take your time to plan what your navigation bar will look like and where it will be placed. For large websites, first design the information architecture. Keep it simple and coherent. This applies to all website design principles in general. Decrease page load time. Poor page loading speed results in a bad user experience. According to a research done by Akamai, users find the optimal load time to be two seconds or less. After three or more seconds, they tend to leave the site. A great trick to decrease load speed is compressing images. Other tips would be reducing HTTP requests, browser caching, and using a content delivery network. Make your website user-friendly for any device. Considering that people are now using their phones for internet browsing more than desktop computers, it's best to make your page accessible from mobile devices. To do so, you can either turn to responsive web design or create a separate mobile-friendly website. Use grid systems for consistency. Grids provide structure to your design and maintain the design's uniformity. They consist of invisible vertical and horizontal lines upon which you lay out the elements of your content. It's best to use flexible grids to keep your design proportions consistent across different screen and window sizes. Master visual hierarchy. Knowing the patterns in which users scan pages can help you decide where to place different design elements. There's more to the common left-to-right and top-to-bottom reading pattern. Studies have already determined more intricate reading behaviors within this pattern. Turns out, readers most often scan pages in an F or Z shape. Websites that are aware of these rules have their logo, call-to-action button, or any other crucial piece of content placed along the pattern. Another key factor in web design is content hierarchy. People tend to see things in relationships to one another. For example, you can use titles and subtitles in different font sizes to emphasize more relevant information. Also, choose colors carefully. Don't go crazy with your layouts. When it comes to layouts, it's best to stick to the basics. There's a reason why layouts are standardized, and that's because they ensure the easiest approach to the users. Having an unusual layout can confuse the readers and distract them from the content. Planning out white space is another important principle that many designers disregard. If used correctly, white space gives your website elegance and balance by incorporating the content in a user-friendly way. That's why you should give it as much thought as to any other crucial element of your website. Don't allow ads to overwhelm the content. Ads can be effective or annoying depending on how and where you use them. For a smooth and clean experience, avoid inserting flashy or irrelevant ads because they can make your page look cheap. Remember, you're not designing websites for yourself. Keep in mind that people use a variety of devices and operating systems for web browsing. Always test your design with different tools and ensure a good user experience for all your readers. Also, make sure to keep the website relevant and updated. Stay on point and purposely organize your content so that users can easily access it. Don't create an intricate design just to show off your skills. 
always prioritize functionality and accessibility for an ideal user experience. Ending thoughts. If you already have the technical knowledge, then following these tips should help you create a more practical and beautiful website design that'll keep readers coming back. You can also use them to rethink your previous work or offer a design upgrade to your clients. Choosing web design as your career path requires constant improvement, so being up to date with design trends and approaches is a must. However, keep in mind that functionality should always be your top priority. And now it's your turn. What web design basics do you follow regularly? Write a comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Don't want to miss the next video? Hit the subscribe button and click the bell beside it. Thank you for watching and check out these neat videos that we previously created.